The story of the battle of the monkey and a crab begins with the two both finding something. The crab finds a dumpling while the monkey finds a persimmon seed. The monkey, seeing the dumpling, gets jealous of it. Even though the monkey likes persimmons, he doesn't want to have to wait for a tree to grow. So he has the idea to make a trade, and he convinces the crab that the seed is better, it's a long-term investment. The easily swayed crab agrees and the trade is made. The monkey gobbles down the dumpling while the crab goes off and plants the seed. Years pass and the tree eventually becomes a ripe fruit tree filled with persimmons. But the crab and his son had a problem. They couldn't climb the tree to get to the fruit. It was tantalizingly out of reach. Which is when the crab remembered his old friend, the monkey, who could easily climb the tree and get fruit for him. The crab goes and finds the monkey, who had completely forgotten about the tree. However, a cunning plan began to form in the monkey's mind. He went to climb the tree and instead of helping the crab, started to gobble down all of the ripe fruit, throwing sour and unripe ones down to the crab. The crab, who had been waiting patiently for the tree, started to complain to the monkey, asking him to remember his promise. The monkey now picked the hard persimmons and threw it right at the crab, hitting until he killed it. When the monkey realised this, he ran away as fast as he could. The crab's son returned to find his father dead after being hit by all these persimmons, and he deduced that it was the monkey that had done this, so he swore that he would avenge his father's murder. He set out to call on his father's old friends to help him on this task, as he could not do it alone. He called on the mortar, the bee and the chestnut, all of whom, after hearing the young crab's tale, agreed to help him. Then they began to formulate a plan. They decided to lay a trap at the monkey's house. When the monkey returned to his house, and he eventually approached the fire, the chestnut leapt from the fire and struck him on the face. Following this, the bee comes in and stings him, causing the monkey to flee out of the house. The mortar, who was waiting on the top of the gate, leapt down and pinned the monkey to the ground. The young crab then approached and accused the monkey of his father's murder. The monkey was unrepentant and blamed the crab's father. And so the young crab used his pinchers to cut off the monkey's head. This is the end of the story of the monkey, the crab, and the persimmon seed. No! No, no, no. Strictly speaking, this abridged version is different to all of the ones that I found, all of the translations. It's a combination of around like three in order to suit the video that I found better. But I think that's actually really the beauty of these kinds of stories, that the general motifs are the same in between all of them, even if the specifics are changed a little bit. It's supposedly a story about karma, uh, doing bad deeds will mean bad things happen to you. I say, hell no, this is revenge. Gotta instill that concept of vengeance from a young age, you know? That'll go well. Even just reading through the entry on Wikipedia, it does worry me just a little bit when the only related item on the page translates roughly to revenge. I am going to roughly outline some of the major differences between the versions that I found. I do find it interesting that there's mainly two distinct versions of the story, one with murder and the other is more of a PG tale. Depending on the version you come across, the crab mightn't have any son, and in this case he doesn't die and he takes revenge into his own hands. In both versions, allies are recruited, but these two can be different depending from version to version. Sometimes at the end the crab slips on kelp, sometimes it's cow dung. Sometimes there's an egg in the fireplace that explodes, sometimes it's a chestnut. Sometimes the crab and allies had an ambush at the monkey's house, sometimes the monkey gets invited to the crab's funeral. One version there's a war between all of the crabs and monkeys? I, I have no idea what happened with that one, it's a bit weird. It's always a persimmon though. I've never eaten a persimmon, so I really don't get the hype for the specific fruit. I've eaten a chestnut, a bee, and some cow dung, but never a persimmon. Like, I actually had to check how to pronounce it for this video. I I was pronouncing it like this. A permission. A persimmon? I kind of looked this up. I mean, I get that I don't know how to pronounce like a lot of Japanese words and things, but this is like a fruit. I just, come on. Anyway, personally, I prefer the version that's basically the Princess Bride. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die.
But I can entirely see that as a story, it might be easier to tell the other one. Um, as far as I know, the different versions, they either originate from different parts of Japan, or there's another version that I heard that it was supposedly more of a textbook version, so there wasn't really any murder, which is understandable. This time I did branch out though, I looked at the Japanese Wikipedia page. I mean I had to dodgily translate it with Google, but hey, this is technically progress. Maybe one day this won't be about reading stuff off Wikipedia and passing it off as original content. Anyway, until next time, this is the end. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, seeing as how like this is about folktales and I, I thought that that would work, that sounded terrible. Wait, wait a second, what's, is there a translated version of this? I gotta check this out. Nope, uh, that's Javanese. Okay, Google is telling me it's Kore de Owarida, and I am assuming I butchered that, but until, until next time, yeah. Oh man, oh man, oh man, okay. Video is over, this, this isn't about, like, <laughs> this isn't technically about the whole um folklore thing it kind of is though but i found it while i was researching this and i have to throw it in here i feel like it's i just can't not send you away without this enjoy question mark Get up!